walk into HD free to play today working on a game called S Remnant Knights. I was about to say Spiral Knights then, but it's not Spiral Knights at all, it's Remnant Knights. Now this is a cutesy sort of anime um, styled RPG. I think it's meant to be for kids. It's sort of advertises itself as the next step after say Wizard 101 and things like that. Um, I've put about probably an hour, half, an hour and a half into this game, got up to level 9. It's pretty easy so far. Um, but I'm just going to give you my thoughts. So it's uh, W, A, S, and D to move. Right click to move your camera. You can zoom in on your character. You've got some cool stuff like an inventory. Oh, I need to check this. Uh, for your quests, you get a quest reward box when you finish. So the uh, the items are a bit randomized. There we go. We've got two items we can open. And none of them <laughs> that we can actually wear, as usual. Um, I've not actually upgraded my equipment in the past, say, five levels. I've just not really needed to. Ooh, a ruby leather belt. I can wear that. Right, oh, it doesn't show up on my character though. The uh, the items do actually change your character, which is good to see. So, for example, if I, uh, I've got a costume on at the moment. Say if I take the cape off and the shorts and the face paint, and then on my equipment I could say put that skirt thing on, and then put the, you know. The items do update your character, so that's pretty cool. We'll stick to that, whatever. The costume items don't actually make a difference on your character. They're just there for looks. Right. So let's get into the actual meat and potatoes of the game. Basically, your quest with going around, so far anyway, all I've had to do is, it's been standard, go here, kill these. You know, go there, kill this. You've got a wide range of skills so far. I'm playing a, uh, I can't remember the class, but basically I blow shit up. <laughs> um... So, uh, there we go. Start farming then. Hmm, for some reason my button keys aren't working anymore, which is odd. Let me just kill all these. Hmm, interesting. And that's the first time I've died in the entire game. <laughs> um, yeah, basically, I've, um, for some reason my buttons aren't working now. Oh well, can't be helped. Oh, and now to respawn all the way back here. But as you can see, the environments are different, <laughs> so that's a good point. We were just in like a scary graveyard forest thing, now we're in this, uh, I don't know, countryside, I think I'd call it. Right, if I go onto my map, I can click to move, make it easy. But yeah, so far it's all been, you've got these kind of Ghostbusters characters, they're called the Sweepers, but... Um, yeah, they're quite clearly based off the Ghostbusters, <laughs> and you can actually see that in the in the yeah NPC avatars. But really, the whole sort of backstory currently. Oh look, I've never even been to this bit. The whole backstory currently, cur currently, currently is that basically I'm part of this school. You get to choose a class. Um, a school there's like dragons and owls, and I think that's like the two rival factions in the game. But I'm at this school trying to learn to be a knight or whatever. I've still not passed my knight training yet. Right, if we uh, neck a few potions. Right, let's kill these spectres. Right. My bloody keys won't work, that's so annoying. Right, we'll have to do it the old fashioned way. Yeah, normally you don't have to do this, but for some reason my keys are just broken. I think it might be because of the recording. Oh shoot. I'll kill them. Kill that. Boom. That's right. There we go. Oh shit. Look at it. Die, you bastard. Oh my god, this sucks. Right, screw this, I'm going to use a revival marble, because I can't be arsed. Right. Oh, why are my button keys working? That's so... Un oh, that might be why. Maybe that's it. Let's have a look. Oh, my button keys are screwed. Oh well. Um, <laughs> we're just going to have to bloody use the arrow. So annoying. Mm 
Alright, one more to kill. Let's try and not hit them as well. Put it over there. Here we go. Time to die. Alright, boom. 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 Kill the rest. Alright, winner. Come on, get dead. And there we go. Find Voltar. Piss off you. Hello, Voltar. Please give me some Ghostbusters related quests. Come on. <laughs> That's trademark infringement to the max. You're going to get sued. Right, there we go. Ding. Let's touch up again. Get another quest. Yep. Okay, we're going to find Jordy. You can see uh, the, the graph. Oh, I forgot to actually mention. <laughs> Probably should have done. This is browser based, guys. This is a browser based game. Um, you wouldn't think it looking at it. It looks, you know, like a high quality professional one, but, you know, these, these plugins are getting better and better. And yeah, this is actually browser based, guys. The, uh, the view distance you can kind of see from that. But I mean, looking at, you know, wait, uh, looking at those kind of graphics, you wouldn't think this is browser based. So yeah, on the on the graphics front, it really uh, you know gets my point. Get Cape of Spectre. So again, you see another quest is just to go and kill things again. Now, from what I've seen, the actual look get Cape of Spectre by killing them. Hunt Hollow Jack, go and kill them. That's that's all you're really getting. Uh, from the actual uh, you know tutorial though, it's already shown like a, there's a fishing mini game which is actually pretty good. Um, basically, you catch the fish, and then once you've actually caught, like, got the fish on the hook, you have to do like a, a quick time event with uh, the uh, button presses. That works pretty well. There's a cool few things like this, and I'm guessing there'll be more than that to uh, to see. Oh, but yeah, guys, seems as my buttons aren't working. I'm going to leave this review there. Um, so oh, I can't remember what the fucking thing's called, and I'm in full screen. Something nights. Decent game, looks pretty good. Bit of basic gameplay, but if you're looking for a new barrels based game, may as well check it out. Um, you know, you're not gonna lose anything. It's published by Game Samba. And uh, yeah, have a go guys. So that's my quick review of this. Pretty good. Not you know anything amazing though. I mean on the graphics front, pretty damn nice for a browser based game. On the gameplay front, you know, it's standard, it's samey stuff. So there we go guys. If you've got any questions or comments about the game, post them down below, I'll do my best to answer you. Subscribe for more. I'm going to be doing more reviews soon. I can't wait to the next beta weekend of Neverwinter where I'm really going to hammer it and give you guys a proper review because the uh, the one I gave last time was a bit shite, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to be working on that. And, yeah, please like as well. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.